What information do you need to determine who has contributed the most to the company at any point in time? A. Number of employees hired. When you read this contract, you can see that J contributed some computer equipment and some cash, whereas Ted contributed 22,000 cash plus an ongoing 1250 per month just to keep the company going. So what's relevant to this contribution and to this company? A. Number of employees hired. This contract has no mention of the number of employees hired and is irrelevant to who has contributed the most. So this is not correct. B. Profit earned from each video game sold. Again, there's no mention of profit in this contract and how much these people make from the actual video games have nothing to do with the actual contribution. We're talking about different things. We're not talking about profit. C. Original value of the computer equipment. Now this one does matter because J initially contributed computer equipment valued at $8,500. So this does matter. D. Amount each founder contributed at the start. That's what this question's all about. Both J and Ted put up their own cash to get this company started. E. Number of video games the company produced. Again, we're not talking about sales, we're talking about contribution into this company. And finally, F. Number of months the company was in business. Now this is relevant to the question of contribution into the company because Ted is paying $12.50 per month. And the longer this company is in business, the more Ted is paying into this business.